Hey everybody, welcome back. This is your friend Trickman01 as always. And uh, we are starting out in orbit in my uh, in this little ship I've designed here. And the reason we're doing that is... Um, well, I just want to skip the launch and everything because we've seen that plenty of times already. But what we're going to try to do today is over here you can see I have a ship called the Practice Docker Mark 1. So my goal today is to practice docking because to be honest with all of you out there I kind of suck at docking right now so what the plan is for this episode is we're gonna take this ship and land the lander on the moon then lift off from the moon dock with the practice docker and then refuel and head back to Kerbin that way so um, I don't have much fuel left in this bottom in these stages right here but I have use this torpedo design a little bit before and it works out pretty well so I'm gonna get all that done you can see I've already planned my uh, maneuver to get within the moon's uh, sphere of influence so we're gonna do that real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and take care of all of that skip time all that good stuff and I will be right back alright guys and we are back and as you can see we've gotten ourselves into position for an encounter with the moon and our periapsis is just below 20 kilometers from the moon so what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and land there and then um, like I said we're gonna ditch basically the bottom part of this rocket which still has a lot of fuel I really love this design so far but anyways uh, we're gonna ditch this whole bottom part and then we're going to use land with this top part here and then we're going to take off with it and dock with um, the practice docker over here and the reason we're going to do that is because I want to get used to being able to rendezvous from uh, different celestial bodies with the docking ship that way we can that way I can get more practice at it and that way I can use it the way I want to use it for deep space mission deep space missions in the future so we're just going to fast forward here real quick so we get to the periapsis and then we're going to uh, go ahead and initiate the landing procedures. Alright, so we are in encounter with the moon. As you can see, if we don't land, we'll be flung out into interstellar, or not. We'll be flung out of Kerbin's sphere of influence anyways. Alright, so let's see, actually. And so if we land right about here... We should be able to rendezvous with uh, the other ship pretty easily, I think. But we want to start a little bit early. Probably about right there. So let's face retrograde and we're just going to burn with the nuclear engines. I think I'm going to call this design the torpedo. Because that's what it looks like, a torpedo. Or a bowling pin. We could call it the bowling pin. I don't know, what do you guys think? Bowling pin, torpedo? Either way is good with me. I'm going to try to get as much as I can out of these engines, though. Shouldn't take too terribly much to, first of all, get us into orbit around the moon, and second of all, get us to a lunar landing. See, this is uh, escalating quite quickly over here. Check out our electric charge should be good. Monitor repellent, great. Liquid fuel, oxidizer, all that good stuff. And again, this isn't a science mission. This is just a practice mission so we can get our docking skills uh, where they need to be. Or specifically so I can get my docking skills where they need to be. I pretty much suck at docking right now. And that is what this mission is all about fixing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get into a landing position. I'm going to kind of try to... Uh, spare you guys a little bit from all this. Ooh, the moon periaps is going way down now. And I'll, uh, once I get my final landing approach, I'll be back with you guys. Alright guys, we are back. And as you can see, we've gone ahead and landed on the moon. Um, we have our lander right here. We have the, the practice docker up here. So what we need to do now is take off and go kind of I think this away 
and try to get into a similar orbit to that and once we get up there we can finish it off um, and then hopefully we'll get into either depending on where we end up we'll go into an orbit either just a little bit under this guy or a little bit over um, and then we'll go around a few orbits until we get near him and hopefully we should be able to dock uh, really quickly one flaw in this design that I did discover is that I forgot to put ho a hose uh, from from this guy to the outer guys, so I had to manually transfer my fuel from this tank to these other tanks when I had, uh, after I landed. Did go ahead and plant a flag here. So let's go ahead and do this thingy. Alright, so we're gonna take off. Like so. And like I said, I think we need to go this way. If I'm not mistaken, I can't really tell. Yeah, that looks right. Ish. Okay. Yeah, that looks perfect. Close, anyways. Um, so we'll go this way and. Oops, wrong way. Wrong way. Too far. So, like I said, right here, we're just really trying to get into orbit. And once we get there, we should have, hopefully, enough fuel. I'm going through it pretty quickly. How high is this? Once we get to about 50,000, we'll go ahead and hit the brakes. Maybe a little bit higher, and then we'll uh, round out our, ape, our uh, orbit from the other side. Or from the apoapsis, I mean. Ready and right about there should work. So let us do this. And I'm hoping that this docking isn't too hard. Uh, some of the other YouTubers out there, I'm sorry, there's something really loud on the road. I do apologize for that. Um, not that I have much control over it, but that was a motorcycle or something. But anyways. Um, I forgot what I was talking about now. Oh yeah, Kurt J. Mack and Zisto and a bunch of them make it look, make docking look easy, but I've never been very good at it, so my hope here is to, uh, be able to, basically the whole goal of this episode is to just try to, um, alright, that's good. So we'll set this as our target. Wow, well, we are farther off than I would like. Uh, it came closer. Talk about having the sun in your eyes. 2.7. There's a 20 kilometer difference there. 0. 0.6, 0. 0.7, 0. 0.7, 0. 0.6. Alright, so that's where we're going to go for now. We have an 8 second burn. Um, and our node's coming up really fast too, so we have to go ahead and try to find our target. I was going to go ahead and transfer a little more fuel from the outside to this guy, but... Uh, how much fuel do we have left there? 174, and each of these tanks holds 180. So we'll do the math on that just a hair later. And we should have enough fuel to do these maneuvers that I want to do. And hopefully dock, and then we can get some more fuel from the um, from the practice docker, as I have come to call it. Jack is freaking out. Oh, by the way, we have—I don't know if I mentioned this—we have Jack Kerman with us. He is uh, freaking out. That being said, he is one of the best young up-and-coming pilots from the Kerman Space Academy. Oh. 9.6 kilometers, so we are looking pretty good, pretty good. We'll quick save right there. Um, we're about 23 minutes away, so I'm going to off camera. I'm going to refill my fuel tanks to the best of my ability. And maybe try to make this intersect just a little bit closer. It's not too far off now, but once we get over here, I'll definitely get back with you guys so we can try to do 
our final docking maneuvers. I'm going to try to get this to less than a kilometer as well. So uh, we'll see what we can do. All right. So I will see you guys as soon as I'm done with that stuff. All right, guys, and we are back. And as you can see, uh, we are gaining on our target at just about 28 meters a second. Actually, it looks like we're losing our target at about, no, we're gaining on it at about 28 meters a second, uh, which is fine for now. And we should be coming right towards it. Um, so yeah, we should be on schedule to intersect right around here-ish. Uh, so what I want to do, I think, is burn towards prograde maybe and see what that can do. I'm trying to get this closer. Doesn't seem to be doing much though. Oops. In fact, I think it's doing the exact opposite of what we want. So let's burn retrograde, try to get our target the same as us. Um, burn retrograde the target. Get as close as we can to uh, zero meters a second so we can, whoop, too far that way probably, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close. I just saw it too. Where did it go? There. Oh, there it is right there, actually. That is not bad, if I do say so myself. Um, let's go ahead and try to cancel out what remaining velocity we have to it. So we'll just go ahead and use RCS for that. And we'll do something like this to where we're almost stationary with it. It's perfect and now we'll just go ahead and I honestly can't believe I ended up getting that close uh, that was just pure luck everybody I promise uh, so now let's try to get closer so we are moving towards our target at about a meter a second and see if we can not nope, too early to set our docking port it looks like We'll probably go a hair faster than this, maybe two meters a second. And this is going far better than I ever hoped. This isn't so bad, I guess. Either that or I'm just getting... I think it's Jack Kerman. He's just a really good pilot. That's what it is. Alright, so let's see if it's too early to set that as our target. Let's cancel out all of our velocity at this point. And we'll head straight towards the docking port now. I think we need to go... Whoop. Um, something like this, I suppose. We're moving towards our target at about half a meter a second. We can probably go a little bit faster than that. We should be aiming right for this docking port. So let's go ahead and also try to start lining up properly. And then oops, we can also do this. And cancel out our momentum again because we're starting to shoot past it. All right, and let's move. See, this is the part where I always have issues. Uh, these are translation controls. And do that. At this point, it's probably, whoops, a good idea to go into chase mode. And do something along these lines. I 
think. And so we are moving towards our target. Slowly but surely, which is fine with me. We want to, I believe we want to try to line up. Whoa, 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 whoa. too fast, too fast, too fast. No, come back. Um, that gummit. All right, so, oops. It is retrograde. All right. We can do this, guys. I promise we can. So let's head straight towards this docking port. According to a little readout. Dang it. Come on. Oop. Um. This is a little harder than it looks, guys. Uh, let's do this. And, uh, this, no, 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 oh, come on. Whoops, clicked outside the window, sorry about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was pressing the wrong button. That would explain that. All right, so we can do this, I know we can do this. So let's set this one as our target. And, all right, we're getting close guys. I am terrible at this, aren't I? Urge. Um, up, 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 up. All right, we're almost there. So let's move him this way, I suppose. Come on. We'll get there eventually, I know we will. Oops. Alright, so we are, whoa, 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 almost there, uh, let's hit this button, oops, clicked outside my window again, no, 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 come on, whatever, we'll go for this docking port, I really don't care. And mated, sweet. All right, so that was far more difficult than it had any right to be, but we did do our first successful docking. Uh, hopefully I'll get better over time. It did not go exactly as smooth as I wanted. So let's go ahead and start to transfer resources. Load this bad boy up. Really what I'd like to do is just load it in here and then have the hoses do the rest. But 
I forgot the hoses, so. I can do all this off camera real quick and then when I'm ready to go back to Kerbin, I'll get back with you guys. All right guys, so we are back and we have all of our fuel tanks filled up again. Jack Kerman is, uh, I don't know, I guess he has cabin fever or something. He's kind of doing some crazy things. How does it look from his point of view? What can he see? There are no windows in this thing. I guess not. Oh, well, I don't know. Hmm, that might be why he's going a little bit crazy. But anyways, so what we're going to do now is we're going to undock and we're going to do our preparations to go back to uh, Kerbin. So let's... No, I don't want to control from here. I want to undock. And I want to do this. Undocking is going to be much easier than docking. And then, yeah, this should be fine, I think. This should, if we burn, well, let's do this, actually. We're facing retrograde now, so we want to face prograde. Okay, that's good. So we do want to get a little bit away from this guy so we don't kick him with our rockets and blow him up. I probably could have... Restored my RCS while I was at it, because that other ship had RCS. But that's neither here nor there. Alright, we can close this. I was just really using this to get an idea of when I needed to burn. And you can see RCS has already offset our fuel. So I'm just going to burn prograde until we are out of... Um... You can still see the, the engines from the other ship on there. We're just going to burn prograde until we are out of Kerbin's, or the moon's sphere of influence, and then we're going to go for a landing on Kerbin. Shouldn't be too bad. Should not be too bad at all. Um, oh, that's going the wrong way. Uh, so let's go ahead and escape the moon's sphere of influence. Bye, moon. Looks like we're out of the moon's sphere of influence. And we'll go over to the apoapsis and we'll drop that to about 30,000 meters. Should be about fair, I think. And then we'll uh, just go in for a landing on Kerbin. Let's see here. We'll burn retrograde. I think I was in an auto orbit around the moon as well, which is why it did not do what I expected it to do as far as... Um, The retrograde and all that good stuff. The periapsis, I mean. So we're going to burn retrograde and get our periapsis nice and low. And we'll bring Jack home after his first uh, successful docking. It's about a thousand kilometers now. Well, about two thousand. Now we're at about a thousand kilometers. So I do feel like I am a capable docker now. I probably still do need some more practice at it, but that's good right there. But it is what it is. So that gets smaller. So, um, I'll meet you guys back when I get into Kerbin's uh, atmosphere so we can come in for our landing and see Jack Kerman get home safely. Alright guys, we are back and as you can see we have made it to Kerman's um, atmosphere. So we're coming in for a landing with Jack Kerman. I'm going to go ahead and detach those parts and I was afraid something like that was going to happen. So we'll just flip them below us like that. And watch them fly away. We can turn off SAS. Oops. And what that should do is that should automatically line us up with our retrograde since we have that nice shaped capsule here. 
Let's turn on SAS and get lined up with the retrograde and then we'll turn it off again. Whoa, we almost hit the debris from our solar panels. So that was interesting. Is that debris not gonna land? Oh, weird. It does look like we're gonna make a land landing or we could land in this nice little crater right here. So let's go a little bit faster and then we'll pop our chutes very, very shortly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to come in over the land, maybe. We might just miss it by a hair. Maybe not if I pop my chutes, let's say, right. Oh, we might come just short either way. I'm going to pop my chute right here. And uh, we're going to go times one speed. Uh, it looks like we're just barely going to miss the land. That's too bad. Be nice to land on the land for a change. And let's go ahead and just before 500 feet right there is probably fine. We'll go back to times one speed so that the Kraken doesn't get us. Just missed, oops, a land landing. We did get a little bit of science from the moon from an EVA, but not too much. Not too much. So I feel like we were successful in our test. Jack Kerman is our new docking expert. He's going to share his knowledge with the with the rest of the crew. The rest of that Kerbal Knots back home. Uh, got 172 science. Can we unlock anything with that? I th think we should be able to. Let's see. This is the 550 tier. So ion engines. do want this stuff too so I might just hold on until I can get these three things right here what else can we unlock space plane stuff space plane stuff this stuff very little torque in that and I think I'm just gonna wait until I get um, this one and then we'll use this Either this one or possibly this one because we could use the gravioli detector. But uh, I'm going to see how much time is left. But I think that's going to be the end for this episode. We got accomplished what we wanted to. Um, we did our practice, our docking maneuvers, which was the most important thing to accomplish here. So I want to thank everybody for so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys all have a great day. This is your friend Trick Man 01. Bye bye now.